So you can do piecewise graphs in Desmos, but the formatting is a little weird. So here's how it works. First, I can type in my function name, so probably going to call it f of x unless there's something in particular I want it to be is equal to. And then instead of just typing in my function like I would, you know, x squared or whatever my function is, I need to use some curly braces. This is going to tell Desmos that I have a list of items. And each of these list of items, I'm going to start with my domain restriction for that part of the function and then with what it is. So if I want my function to, for values where x is less than negative 2, or next to negative 2, then I would put a colon and the function I wanted to actually have there. So when x is a smaller number than negative 2, I want my function to be x squared uh, minus x minus 8. That'll be my function. So if I'm finding it difficult to keep all of this organized as there gets to be a lot on this line, I could close this off here and I could just graph it as multiple functions and I can call them all f of x if I want to and Desmos won't complain. And I can then put in my next one. So maybe when x is going to be less than or equal to, greater than or equal to that is x is greater than five. I have another piece of my piecewise function there. I hit a colon and maybe that part of it is um, log base three of x. Well, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense for a negative number now that I think about it, so I'm going to have to shift it a little bit. And oh, I want to shift it by a positive number if I want to shift it that way. There we go. All right, that'll be a nicer looking function. And I can then have that for that section and my third section, I can say, well, when x is greater than or equal to 5, I would like this to be um, 1 over x. So there is a way that I could do my piecewise function and keep it all organized enough that I can see what I'm doing. Because remember I said this is a list, I could also put each of these as entries in my list. So I'm copying and pasting this, actually cutting and pasting this. I'm going to put a comma, I'm going to paste it. And now these are both in the same function in the same color and they all fit in here. I might have to make this a little bigger to see my whole function. And so I'm putting a comma between each entry in my list and each entry in the list consists of a pair of things separated by a colon. First, the domain restriction and then the thing I want at that. And the advantage of having them all in one function is that they all show up the same color and it means that I can do things like evaluate this function for f of negative 3 and get an answer or f of 4 and get an answer and it's all one function and I can do all of those things. So I recommend if you're struggling with getting all of these into one list like this, do it like I just did where you have them all separate until they look like you want them to and then cut and paste them on in to a list separated by commas so that you get the power of having these different evaluation options. And it's kind of nice to be able to just find it at these different values all at once. I could do things like f of x plus 4 and get the whole thing shifted up. And just, you know, all of those function transformation tools that Desmos has. So the formatting is curly braces, which are kind of to the right of the letter P on your keyboard. And you'll have to hit shift to get to them. And then first you put the domain restriction, 
and then you put a colon and then you put the function. If you want to get a greater than or equal to or a less than or equal to, you can either type the greater than or less than symbol immediately followed by the equal symbol and Desmos will combine them, or you can go to the on-screen keyboard here and those are some options in here as well. I am a keyboard person. So that's how you do piecewise functions in Desmos.